Kate. Kate, are you wanting to have a wee chat on the gorilla Kate? Channel Kate. Are you an MP? Uh, no, but we have, uh -huh. we have an MP. Mr. Whitehall. And our candidate. Oh, fantastic. So, who's, yeah, the, so who's the candidate? So the candidate is Maggie. Maggie, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> this is the future. I Hey, Mr. How are you doing? Yeah. Hi, Maggie. How are you doing? Uh, my name's uh, I've not got you on so far. Uh, my name's David Ballantyne from the Gorilla TV oh, channel. Oh, yes. Would you like a wee chat? I can have a wee chat. Fantastic, yeah. Maggie. Is now is this a good space? Yes, that's it? fine. You look fantastic, Maggie. Thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, shining, that helps. Uh, can you do me a favour? Can you tell me what your manifesto is? You're running on for the. Are you? You're standing as an MEP. I'm one. I'm one of the the green candidates. Yes, I'm top of the list. So Scotland will Fantastic. be electing six uh, MEPs, and I'm hoping to be one of the one of the green. Well, the the, the, the first green MEP ever. Uh -huh. And our manifesto. We ha we have three key priorities. Right. Our first one is to stop Brexit. The last right. three years have shown just how much of a farce Westminster is. It's completely ignored Scotland's voice. Scotland voted overwhelmingly to remain part of the EU. And that's what that's what we need to make make sure it gets heard. So we want Scotland to have a strong voice and keep it where it belongs in the heart of Europe. And a, a part of that, you know, it's about Scotland's voice being heard and about our ideas getting into the heart of Europe as well, because we know that we could join Greens and others across the continent to change to change Europe for the better. But is it not the uh, commissioners that actually set the legislation in uh, in the? Uh... Well, so, so, so the, the part part of our, our stopping Brexit and being part of, of the EU is because we want we want to remain, but we want to rebel. So we need to transform the EU. We need to transform it to make it more democratic, to give the parliamentarians more power, more power. So it's not just the commissioners. You know, there is democracy in Europe. Uh, there, there is that the parliamentarians do get to vote on on policies, but we need to strengthen that. They and only get to things. vote on policies that are already decided by the commissioners. They, they can they can they can adjust them and they can propose certain new areas. Can they what, propose yeah. new areas? Yeah. Uh, can they? Yeah, if they work through the process, it, it's, it doesn't work the same way as either the Scottish Parliament or. Mm -hmm. or Westminster, but right. there, there is opportunity to, to feed that in. But the, but the two other key key reasons, um, the key areas that we're, we're standing on. The, the second one is um, to tackle what is humanity's greatest uh, crisis, the climate catastrophe we're facing. So let me ask you a question. Let me just get, yeah, go on that because that's yes. quite interesting. Why don't we just plant more trees? That, that has to be part of it, but we know that it is our economic system that is... If, 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 the UK, if the UK and uh, got a zero emissions policy, is that going to stop global warming? Which is why we need to be part of the EU because we need. If the EU. Sorry, can, can I? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Can you go? Sorry. We need supranational action on this. We we need to be cooperating across international boundaries. Right. And the UK on its own, certainly the UK led by a Tory government, is not going to do anything if to the, stop climate let, change. Let me just go back to what I was going okay. to point there because uh, that was a good answer you did there. But if the if the EU had actually then uh, uh, said there was no more emissions, would that stop global warming? It would certainly, make, it would certainly contribute to that. But it's not just about changing our, our, our emissions, it's about changing our economy. And, and that, that, that's, what, that's what we need to be doing. So Greens are standing to put forward our, our economic platform, which is a Green New Deal uh -huh. across the continent, which will transform our economy for good. It's interesting um, that the elected members like yourself could potentially be. Obviously, it looks like just now the SNP are going to win three seats, the Conservatives won, Labour Party won, and the Brexit Party won just now from the polling. Well, we'll see what happens. You know, the election is 12 days away. We still got campaigning to do. It's a very different kind of election. It's the first time we're actually talking about Europe in these elections, in the European elections. And with a very shortened campaign period, it's, we'll, we'll just wait and see what It's very concerning for me that the fact that, the, the like you, would be my representative, mm -hmm. um, that, uh, that you have got no say or do not actually put forward the legislation that would actually govern me. I don't know, it's between 16 and 60% of the regulations that come out of uh, the EU and not none of them are actually um, stipulated by the elected members like yourself, or very little of well, them, they, should they, we say. They, they, are, they are passed by, by the European Parliament, but if, 
if we don't have representation in Europe, we can't change it. And Greens, but even if you had representation, Greens, if you're not making the legislation, Greens, surely that would yes, matter. So we need to change, we need to transform the system. And Greens across Europe are, are standing on that platform to change Fantastic. it, to make it more democratic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. How are you doing, how are you doing Ms. Well? No what's, what's, what's happening there, there with the Greens and the Scottish Parliament, sir? Oh, we're busy. Are you, uh, uh, can I just ask a question? Matt, I've got dyslexia. No, no, I'm, not, I'm not doing an interview, sorry. You don't want to do one? No, but you're not busy. a representative of uh, people in Scotland? You don't uh, want to do that? No, I don't want to do an interview. No. Contact the press. Contact the press office. Is that you don't want to do it? I mean, you've got the Guerrilla no. TV channel. No, no, no. But, I mean, you're a representative of the, the Scottish people. Should, should, surely we should have a, a way of actually getting to speak to you, no? Yep. Do you just think, no, you don't. Uh, you're, busy. Go. you're not really busy. You're not really busy, Thank are you? Thank you very much. Is that, can I just ask, is that the, the green representation? Because obviously that might have a bit of a play when I put this up on the social media, no? Can I ask, is, it, is the Greens an extreme left organisation? Are they a neo communist organisation? Are, are, are they, are, how are they going to grow the economy in Scotland? You've had plenty of time. Ah, right, you know what to do? Don't, don't touch me, Mr. Whitehall. You, know, you understand the, 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 the consequences of touching the press in Scotland. Thank you very much. Is it, you've got nothing to say then, no? This is obviously going to play not very well when I put it up, no? Thank you, thank you. Is, is, does anybody else, is this a new, is the, the Green Party a new communist organisation or the extreme left? We, we, have, we have policies on a whole range of issues. If you, if you have a look at our website... Let me, well, let me see your pamphlet and let's have a wee look at what you're actually standing for. So, tackle the climate change emergency. But even if, if you did tackle it, it's not going to make any difference, is it? Well, we think it is. That's why we're here. Is that? Um, choose hope over hate. Is that the hope over hate that's uh, discriminating? <laughs> Is that hope over hate that's discriminating against people just now and uh, getting them sacked from jobs if they don't like their political opinion, Mr Wayne? No? Don't want to talk? No? Oh, well, I, I see that it's uh, obviously... Obviously, hi there. How are you doing? Yes. Have you, have you anything you want to say? Uh, yes, yes. Is there any, any points you want to make? So is hope not the organisation is discriminating?